Let's solve this problem. Solve the differential equation xy dx plus quantity x squared plus y squared dy equals 0. So this type of de is a homogeneous de because the functions multiplied in dx and dy are both homogeneous function of degree 2. For xy, the sum of degree is 1 plus 1 or 2, while for x squared plus y squared, each term are of degree 2. So that's why this is a homogeneous DE. So we can use the substitution for homogeneous DE. So we can let x be equal to Vy and getting the differential of both sides, we have dx is equal to Vdy plus Ydv. So if we try to substitute this, we will have x equal to Vy then times y dx equal to v dy plus y dv then plus x again substitute be the v y then squared plus y squared just copy times dy equal zero so we just simplify first so v y times y that will be v y squared then times v dy plus y dv plus quantity so v y quantity squared that's equal to v squared y uh, y squared plus y squared times dy equals zero so we can factor out this y squared here so we will have v y squared times v dy plus y dv so just copy Plus, factoring out y squared, we will have y squared times quantity v squared plus 1 dy equals 0. So, notice that we can cancel out this y squared here. So, we can divide both sides by y squared since it is equated to 0. So, canceling out y squared, we are left with v times quantity v dy plus y dv plus v squared plus 1 times dy equals 0 over y squared still 0. So, we can distribute this v first. So, we will have v times v dy, that's v squared dy, plus vy times dv. So, we have vy dv, then plus quantity v squared plus 1 dy equals 0. So, we can combine the same differential dy. So, we can factor out the dy in v squared plus v squared plus 1. So, we will have v squared plus quantity v squared plus 1 times dy plus vy dv equals 0. So, combining similar terms here, v squared plus v squared, that will be 2v squared plus 1 dy plus vy dv equals 0. So this is now a separable de. We can separate the variable by multiplying both sides by, so this dy, let's eliminate the 2v squared plus 1 by multiplying by 1 over quantity 2v squared plus 1. For dv, let's eliminate this y by multiplying both sides by 1 over y. We multiply this expression to every term on both sides. So for the first term, we can cancel out this 2v squared plus 1. So we are left with dy over y. Plus for the second term, we can cancel out this y. So we are left with v dv divided by 2v squared plus 1. Equal, so this term times 0, it's still 0. So, we can now integrate both sides of the equation. So, for the integral of dy over y, that's just simply ln of y plus for the integral of v dv over 2v squared plus 1, we can apply u substitution. So, we can let u be equal to 2v squared plus 1, getting the derivatives of both sides, derivative of u du. Derivative of 2v squared plus 1, that will be 4v dv, right? So, we have created this term on the original integral, v dv. So, we don't need this 4. We can eliminate by dividing both sides by 4. So, we will have du over 4 is equal to 
v dv. If we substitute, we will have the integral of, so v dv, that's equal to du over 4, then all over 2v squared plus 1, that's equal to u. So we can put this 1 fourth as a constant in front of the integral first. So we'll have 1 fourth integral of du over u. And then evaluating the integral of du over u. So that's just ln of u. Then let's transform back the u as 2v squared plus 1. So we will have 1 fourth ln of 2v squared plus 1. So, combining the two integrals, we will have ln of y plus 1 fourth of 2v squared plus 1 equal to the integral of 0. So, that's just 0, but let's just make it as the constant of integration. So, let's try to simplify further the solution. I can eliminate first this 4 by multiplying both sides by 4. So, we will have... 4 ln of y plus, so canceling out this 4, we are left with ln of 2v squared plus 1 equals 4 times c, 4c. So, applying property here on logarithm, so the power rule, so we will have ln of um, y to the 4th plus ln of 2v squared plus 1 equals, so this 4 in the constant c, it can be absorbed by the constant. So we can just rewrite it as simply c again. Now, we can apply the product rule for logarithm. So ln y to the 4 plus ln 2v squared plus 1 can be written as ln of y to the 4 times 2v squared plus 1 equals c. Now, we can transform this into exponential form or make both sides of the equation as the exponent of the base e. So applying property of logarithm, e raised to ln of this expression is just equal to this expression. So y to the 4, 2v squared plus 1 equals, so this base e can be absorbed by the constant c since it's also a constant. So I can rewrite it again as simply c. Okay, now let's transform back the v in terms of x and y. So we know that the substitution that we have is x is equal to vy. If we solve for v here, let's divide both sides by y. So therefore, v is equal to x over y. So if we substitute here, we will have y to the 4 times 2 v. That's x over y quantity squared plus 1 equals c. So y to the 4 times 2, x over y squared, so you can distribute the exponent, so it's equal to 2x squared over y squared plus 1 equals c. So you can distribute this y to the 4th here, so we can cancel out this y squared, so y to the 4th becomes y squared, then times 2x squared plus y to the 4 times 1, y to the 4, equal c. So this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to solve this differential equation and just comment their answers.